What's good, Destiny Ones? Today, it seems I did a little bit of digging and some research, and Black Myth Wukong has a confirmed expansion that is going to probably rock the world. Let's get straight into it. So, Black Myth Wukong has flew up the Steam charts, quickly becoming the world's service second most played game in history at 2.2 million concurrent players. That's just wild. A new report states that Bloomberg digged a little bit deeper including the fact that Black Myth Wukong has sold over 18 million copies since its launch in just over two weeks. This makes it one of the fastest selling games in history, behind one of the likes of, we all know, Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 and Grand Theft Auto 5, something that we've all been highly anticipating with Grand Theft Auto 6 right around the corner. That means that it is wrecked in probably about 18 million which is well over the budget that it actually took for it to make, and it's going to easily reach a billion in the up and coming weeks. It has been confirmed that Black Myth Wukong will get an expansion, which will be an entirely new round of earnings that would set it apart from GTA 5. I mean, we all wanted GTA 5 to come out with an expansion. It's a missed opportunity. I think we can all agree, but it doesn't seem like Black Myth Wukong will be following down that path. There is no clue as to what the expansion will cover just yet or the scope. However, I think I have a couple of ideas of what we might be able to expect in the brand new expansion. Let's get straight into it. So, apparently if you dig a little bit deeper across the internet, we have a whole bunch of footage and or things that were in, I guess, trailers and early releases of the game that if you dig deep, you'll definitely find them. I'm going to try to analyze this stuff the best that I can, but from the looks of it, it seems like most of the expansion and or things that we can be expecting might be a lot more of Chapter 2, which I'm really not mad at. Chapter 2 was one of my favorite chapters in the entire game. It had a lot of interesting characters and it had a lot of character development and or just secrets that we definitely had to unfold. And it seems like there are enemy types like these rats here that we do end up becoming as a spirit, a little bit of a transformation. It seems like they were just an enemy type that we could fight out in the open world, which would have been a hell of a lot of fun. They're pretty aggressive. It seems that we're missing out on some pretty amazing transformations ourselves because we're not able to turn into certain things that we see here now. But I don't know. It looks like we have some bosses to look forward to. Taking a deeper dive into all this footage we have here, it seems we have a serpent-like boss that has some type of wild spear with poison coming through. That's interesting. We have this massive insect thing that really creeps me out, makes me feel hella uncomfortable. I'm not going to hold you. Other than that, we have the celestial enemies that were possibly, I guess, something we could have fought up in Chapter 6. But there's finishers and things that I haven't seen before, so maybe this didn't make it into the base game. We have a sword and shield, the old sword and board guy. That is apparently Thor, I guess. But it's staying, it seems like he's standing directly in chapter one's area where we fought the bear. So I'm wondering what exactly happened here. In this scene here, we have a very massive enemy that looks absolutely insane. I would have loved to have fought this guy, but we would have been able to smack him up fairly easily because he's standing in water. And we all know that the serpent armor in the game would have made quick work of him because just standing in armor and recovering, it's OP. But moving on, we also have the Fubang insect that we apparently fought in chapter two in the secret area. There seems to be an even larger version of it, which doesn't really make sense lore wise, but maybe it had a family. I don't know. But confusing as it may be, this is a massive version of the one that we fought, the one that we fought together with the king. So it looks like we have a bunch of things to really be excited for and to be expecting. I mean, there's going to be so many different bosses and things that are probably going to be smacking us up. I'm really excited for any type of expansion to any zone that we already have and possibly new zones in general, because new zones can introduce brand new enemies and brand new enemy types as well as kind of flesh out the enemies that we already have and give us something more exciting. And it'll probably give us exciting encounters to look forward to. I mean, this bull enemy right here looks absolutely massive. He kind of reminds me of the king or the guy that was sitting in the last chapter of chapter five, but he's not the same. He doesn't have the same color of fur, so it could be something completely different. 
I can't be sure. It definitely seems like there was some scale back on some of the things we could expect in the game, I guess for performance reasons, because here in this clip, we have a whole bunch of different enemies that we're able to fight. Whereas in the actual version of the game that we received, we don't have half as many enemies, which really doesn't bother me as much, but it would have been cool to have a little bit, or maybe not. It would have been cool to have more enemy encounters, but at the same time, could you imagine trying to fight five or six enemies all at once with our current moveset? Yeah, could have been a headache. There's definitely going to be a lot of game to play when it comes to the expansion. A lot of things to be excited for because there's so many things that we just don't have that we could possibly receive or get back in future content for the game. Let me know how you feel about it. Let me know if you're excited for the expansion at all. And have you actually beat the game yet? What chapter are you in if you haven't beaten it? And let me know who is your favorite boss in Black Myth Wukong so far. But that's going to be all for today's video, guys. I'm really excited to see what the future holds for this game. And I look forward to reporting all the news, tips, tricks, and everything that I can find in Black Myth Wukong. This is your boy MM since Stage Deeper. For now, though, I'm out of here.